Hello everyone, welcome back to Sermon ICT Prep. Today we're tackling chapter 10, Inequalities of College Band the Math. And let's get back to the problems. Question one, which of the following is a solution to nine inequalities? So what we should do here is to get our x on one side and the numbers on the other side. So let's move 4x to the side. Negative 5x is greater than negative 10. Thus, x is less than negative 2 because the sign switch when we're dividing by a negative number. So the answer is 2. If this equation, if this inequality, which of the following must be true. So what we can do here is to multiply both sides by 4. And if we do so, we get 3x minus 16 is uh, greater than 2x minus 40. And let's move the x to one side and the numbers to the other. So we get x is greater than negative 24. So the answer is D. Okay, so which of the following systems and inequalities could be the one graphed in the x, y plane above? So we can see that the region falls below the y is equal to 3 line. So y is less than 3. And also the shaded region stays above y is equal to x, right? Because this is the graph for y is equal to x. So y is greater than x. So it must be shaded this way. And the one that complies with this should be C. Jerry estimates that there are m marbles in a jar. Harry, who knows the actual number of marbles in the jar, notes that the actual number n is within 10 marbles inclusive of Jerry's estimate. Which of the following inequalities represent the relationship between Jerry's estimate and the actual number of bars and marbles in the jar? So we can say that Jerry's estimate could be m. And let's say it's 100, 100 marbles. And if the actual number of the marbles are within 10 of that estimate, it must be at least 90 and at most 110. So we can use the variable my m, m minus 10 is less than or equal to n is less, is less than or equal to m plus 10. So the answer is b. A manufacturer produces chairs for a retail store. According to the formula m is equal to 12p plus 100. The number of units sold by the retail store is given by n is equal to negative 3p plus 1970, where n is the number of units sold and p is the retail price of each chair. What are all the values of p for which the number of units produced is greater than or equal to the number of units sold? So to solve this problem, we just, we just have to create the inequalities, right? So let's just set them up. So we know that m is greater than or equal to n, and also we've given the values of m. So we can just plug that in for m, and also we can do that for, y, for n. And by doing so, whatever you learned before, you have to move the inner, move the variables to one side and the numbers on the other side. So let's move this and this to this side. We have 15p is greater than or equal to 870. Thus, p is greater than or equal to 58. So the answer is A. If n is an integer and 3n minus 2 is greater than negative 4n minus 9, what is the least possible value of n? So again, what we do here is to move the n to one side and move the numbers to the other side. But before we do that, we know that there's parentheses, the brackets, so we need to expand for the brackets. So we get 3n minus 6 is greater than negative 4n plus 36. Thus, move the n to the other side and the numbers to the other side. We get 7n is greater than 42. Thus, n is greater than 6. So the answer must be a number, an integer that is greater than 6. So the most obvious integer that is the least possible value of n must be 7. Okay, we have this graph here and we're trying to find uh, the equations that the, the, the systems of inequalities the graph is representing. So here we can see that y, if y is greater than or equal to 3, let's say it's this line and negative 3 is here, we can see that y must be less than or equal to 3 because it's shaded this way. If it is greater than 3, then it would be shaded this way. Thus we know that y must be less than or equal to 3, so we can, we can immediately remove this uh, this part, this answer choice. And we also know that y, since y is negative 3, y is greater than negative 3 because it's shaded upwards, because if it's less than negative 3, it will be shaded this way. So the answer is b. To get to work, Harry must travel 8 miles by bus and 16 miles by train every day. The bus travels at an average speed of x miles per hour, and the train travels at an average speed of y miles per hour. If Harry's daily commute never takes more than an hour, which of the following inequalities represent the possible average speeds of the bus and train during commute? So we know that the, ha the amount of time that Harry spends on a bus is 8 over x hours, right? 
and also the amount that he spends on the trade is 16 over x hours y hours let's say this is y hours and because we know that the total number of hours is never greater than one we can add these two and we can say it's never greater than one so the answer is a an ice cream distributor contracts out two different companies to manufacture cartons of ice cream company can produce 80 cartons and company b can produce 140 cartons in each hour the distributor needs to fulfill an order of well, over 1100 cartons in 10 hours of contract time it contracts out X hours to company A, company A and the remaining hours to company B, which of the following inequalities give all the possible values of X in the context of this problem. So we know that the distributor contracts uh, company A for X, for X hours, and also it co contracts company B for X minus 10 hours, right? No, I mean, uh, 10 minus X hours. Yeah. So and company a produces 80x cartons we can write 80x and we add that to 140 and we bracket 10 minus x hours and that's greater than 1100 so the answer should be c which of the following graphs in the xy plane above could represent the system of inequalities above so again this is a classical graph problem and then we can see that y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 2 and it's greater than or equal to so it must be shaded uh this way this way this way this way and we also know that y, y is less than negative 2x minus 5 it's a negative slope so if this is a negative slope it should be facing this way because if it's greater then it should be going this way so the only valuable answer the only valid answer here should be d In the systems of inequalities above, A and B are constants. If 120 is a solution to the system, which of the following could be the value of B minus A? So let's just plug X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 20, because that's what we're given to the first equation. So we got 20 is greater than 15 plus A, so 5 is greater than A. And let's do the same for the second inequality. So we get 20, 5 plus B. So 15 is less than B. So we know that a is less than 5 and b is greater than 15 and the difference between the two 15 minus 10 15 minus 5 is 10 so the there must be a number that is greater than 10 so the answer is 12. tina works no more than 30 hours at a nail salon each week she can do manicure in 20 minutes and a pedicure in 30 minutes each manicure ends are 25 bucks and each pedicure ends with 40 dollars and she must earn at least $900 to cover her expenses. If during one week she does enough manicures and pedicure fee to cover her expenses, which of the following systems of inequalities describe her working hours and her earnings? So we know that the manicure takes one over three of an hour, and the pedicure takes one over two of an hour, and the total number that she spends doing the manicures and pedicures must be or less than or equal to 30. So we can say one over three M plus one over two P must be less than or equal to 30. And we know that she earns 25M for manicures and 40P for procedures, for ped for pedicures, I'm sorry. So that will be 25M plus uh, 40P. And that must be greater than or equal to 900 because she must earn at least. So the answer here is clearly C. If K is less than or equal to X, is less than or equal to three, K plus 12, which is the following must be true. So from the given inequality, what we can do here is to subtract k from both sides. So we will get x minus 12 is less than or equal to 3k. Thus a is true, i is true. And let's try, okay, let's try when we have 3k plus 12 is greater than or equal to k. Let's subtract both sides, x minus 12. Okay, let's subtract. K, so we move k to one side and the 12 to the other side and if we do so we get 12k is greater than or equal to negative 12 because k is greater than or equal to negative 6 so the answer 2 is also applicable and let's try to get the third to prove if the third one's true or not and we can just from this we can just subtract k from both sides which will leave us with 0 is great, less than or equal to x minus k so that confirms that 3 must be true as well. So the answer is 1, 2, and 3, which is D. 
If negative 20 over 3 is less than negative 2x plus 4 is less than negative 9 over 2, what is one valuable solution? What is one possible value of the x minus 2? So let's try and solve this separately. So let's group these up one by one to make two different equations. So let's do negative 20 over 3 is less than negative 2x plus 4. And let's multiply by 20 to get rid of, multiply by 3 to get rid of the hassle. So we get negative 6x plus 12. And then let's move 12 to the other side. And then let's solve for x. So x is uh, less than or equal to 16 over 3. Now let's do the second part. Negative 2x plus 4 is less than negative 9 over 2. And we can multiply 2 by, by 2 on both sides. We get negative 4x plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 9. So negative 4x must be less than negative 17. So x is greater than 17 over 4. So we know that the, uh, it's, it's x must be less than, must be greater than uh, 17 over 4, and that must be greater than 16 over 3. And to find x minus 2, we can just subtract 2 here on both sides. By doing so, we'll get 9 over 4 is greater than x, is less than x, is less than 10 over 3. So the answer is any number between... 9 over 4 and 3 over 10 over 3. Joyce wants to create a rectangular garden that has an area of at least 300 square meters and a perimeter of at least 70 meters. If the length of the garden is x meters long and the width is y meters long, which of the following systems and inequalities represent Joyce's requirement? So we know that the area must be at least 300. So if we have x and y, x times y must be greater than or equal to 300. And we also know the perimeter of the rectangle is 2x plus 2y and that must be greater than or equal to 70 because it's at least and we can reduce this to x plus y is, is greater than or equal to 35 so the answer should be d let's move on to define a question of the set if a is less than b which of the following must be true a squared is less than b squared 2a is less than 2b minus b is less than negative a so we know that uh we can first eliminate this one because it's not necessary to if you implug if you plug in negative values so for example if you plug in negative 2 and negative and, and 2 uh, let's, let's say let's plug in negative 10 and for a and b for 2 then if negative 10 is squared it will be 100 so 100 is greater than 4 right so a is not true and we know that 2 is definitely true and that's because we can it's just the equivalent of multi multiplying both sides by 2 and also 3 is true because if you just take any number and we multiply both sides by negative 1, it, the sign will change naturally. So the answer should be 2 and 3, which is C.